now at 7.30 on CBS Mornings with a potential medical breakthrough involving an infant boy from North Carolina that could eventually benefit millions of people. The boy, Easton Cinnamon, was born with a congenital heart defect and a non-functioning immune system. But in a medical first, surgeons at Duke University saved his life by performing a heart transplant surgery and boosting his immune system at the same time. Omar Villafranca shows us how this combination of procedures could potentially help other organ transplant patients worldwide. Easton Cinnamon hasn't taken his first steps, but his parents, Caitlin and Brandon, say he's already been on the journey of a lifetime. When we found out that we were having a boy, we also found out about his heart defect. Easton was born with a serious congenital heart condition that left him with half of a functioning heart. At only five days old, Doctors performed open heart surgery to fix the aorta and a leaking valve in his little heart. A few days later, Easton survived a life-threatening cardiac arrest. We actually had the conversation of he was put here for a reason, and that reason we don't know. Maybe he was here to be a donor for another child. We, we were having that conversation, you know. A few months after, another heart procedure was unsuccessful. Easton needed a new heart and was put on the transplant list. But blood tests revealed another problem. His immune system was not working and he needed a new thymus. Dr. Joseph Turek is the chief of pediatric cardiac surgery at Duke University and is Easton's doctor. The thymus is part of your immune system and it makes T cells that T cells can be good. They fight infection, but they can also be bad in the sense that they, they will reject an organ. Transplanting a heart and implanting cultured thymus tissue grown in a lab from the same donor had never been performed together before. Amazingly, Easton was at the very hospital that had been studying that type of procedure for decades. This doesn't happen very often where you can you be working on something in the laboratory and it has direct translation and could help a patient uh, that you're taking care of. Doctors had to get FDA authorization for the surgery. And after consulting with physicians, the Cinnamons agreed to the first of its kind surgery. After 112 days on the transplant waiting list, a heart became available in August of 2021. The way that it was put to us is, is if it doesn't work, you're gonna be on the same path, you're gonna be on the transplant anyway. And if it does work? And if it does work, you can change the world. That's because organ recipients face unique challenges. The immune system T cells made in the thymus could reject the new organ. To prevent that from happening, recipients have to take anti-rejection medicines, which can have harsh side effects for patients. Duke researchers say by transplanting both a solid organ and cultured thymus tissue from the same donor, it could potentially eliminate the need for anti-rejection medicine. Transplanted hearts currently last about 10 to 15 years. The hope is to extend that significantly, potentially up to 40 years. This could apply to any organ, any solid organ transplant that we do. When you hear that. It's a broad, broad group of people that could benefit. I mean, that is a millions. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Eight months after making medical history, Easton is finally home with mom, dad, Hi. and his big sister, Ivy. Hi, I like to hold him and play with him. When we first brought him home in September, he couldn't hold his head up, he couldn't sit up on his own, and now he's dancing in his chair and walking around the house in his walker chasing his sister. The Cinnamons are now focused on making memories as a family. For CBS Mornings, Omar Villafranca, Ramsier, North Carolina. Oh, man. Oh, little Easton oh, is so adorable, but I'm in awe of Dr. Turek and the researchers at Duke. I mean... I was thinking that too. My, I was just... Doctor, yeah, science, I medicine. It's, such, it's it's a great outcome. It's hard to see a little baby. I remember Teddy uh, was in the uh, ICU for a little while with a fever, that. and all, all the wires are on yes. him. And stuff. It's but it's did so you hard, see Easton's little hair sticking <laughs> up? His hair sticking Go up. Go, Doctor Joseph Turk, and your team. Yeah. You're right. Amazing. In awe. Bravo. Amazing.